hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video i just want to kind of quickly run you through my chat gpt process for keyword research i'll give you this prompt that has helped me a lot in while doing keyword research so what we do basically uh, let's have a look i'll just use this prompt the, the prompt reads you are an expert on let's say whatever the topic is for example here i've taken gaming mouse so that kind of uh, establishes the context of what we are trying to get out of chat gpt then i we tell them that okay this is our product our product is a wireless gaming mouse then we ask chat gpt to suggest 30 relevant questions starting with what why how so this is uh, something that we are doing in order for chat gpt to give us questions because we want to write on those questions and and rank for them because these are the questions that our target audience is searching for it should uh, relate to key pain point issues or problems my product helps solve. So, so that kind of sets up the narrative for chat GPT. So it understands what kind of keywords we are looking for. Ensure that the keywords are specific and high value. So in order for the for chat GPT to not uh, just get away with, with a lot of shitty keywords, we say that these keywords should be specific and should have high value. So now let's see how, how that translates in with chat GPT. So here, if you see, I have done this already. So you are an expert into gaming mouse. I put all of that. So let's let's see. These are the keywords that chat GPT has come up with. Now, if you see these are these keywords are really long in terms of they have a lot of words and all of that. So this is where uh, we have to kind of have a look at these keywords and try and understand and make adjustments to our prompt so that we get uh, the best keywords out. So here what I would say is keep the word count in these keywords under let's say eight and we give it the prompt so now uh, now it will give us kind of shorter tail queries so how does the ergonomic design combat fatigue so th these are all of the questions that people uh, who are looking for wireless mouse would be definitely be searching for that how does having an ergonomic design would combat fatigue uh, what customization feature does your mouse offer so these are all of the keywords uh, or basically I would say topic ideas that chat GPT is suggesting us. So now what we do is let's have a look at this keyword and, and see what Ahrefs tells us in terms of its search volume. It's uh, how, how does it look like? So I'll just paste this here and select United States and then I'll go. So as you can see this, because this is such a longer volume keyword, longer tail keyword, uh, Ahrefs is not really showing any data right now. So I'll just quickly update this and, and that way it will be able to fetch those results in the real time. Uh, basically, the, the thing here is that using these prompts, we'll be able to get a list of keywords that could serve as a starting point for our for our keyword research. And this also helps when you have kind of ex extensively used all of the keywords uh, that you already have found through tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush. So this gives you an additional layer of keywords that you can use the questions. And yeah, the best part is that these are the questions that your ideal uh, customer profile is searching for. So let's have a look at this. The best part is even though it, it doesn't shows any volume, I'm, I'm sure people would be searching for how does an ergonomic design uh, combat fatigue. So you have to use your common sense in order to vet those keywords. So if you are someone looking for a wireless mouse, I'm sure ergonomic design is something that's on your mind. And you can have a look at the sites that are ranking there, go through them, uh, go through their backlinks, see how many, many words of content they have. And then based on that, you can create a content strategy around it. So that's that's the whole process of doing keyword research with ChatGPT. Again, to reiterate, just don't rely on what ChatGPT suggests. Have a look at the sites, have a look at in Ahrefs uh, and just use your common sense to figure out whether or not someone would be searching for that keyword. That's it for this video. See you in